<laughs> What's going on everybody? So we're out here with the old C10. She about took over by pollen. Pollen pretty much done took over everything around here. So we're gonna see if she'll fire up and uh get all the fluids and stuff checked. Done check the oil, oil's good. We gotta uh, check our transmission fluid, top our water off, and hopefully our battery ain't dead. So yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this old girl fired up. Then we're gonna uh, run up to town here. I'm gonna pick up my son from school, and then we're gonna run this old girl to the car wash and get her, get her cleaned up a little bit. Like I was saying, the pollen has pretty much took over. <laughs> and we got iron straw up under here. But uh, yeah, everything around here is pretty much covered in pollen. And that truck ain't even been here but a couple weeks and it's getting covered. And then everything over there is covered in pollen. somewhere I should probably figure out but I thought I was all out of transmission fluid and I wouldn't have time to go to the store and get any and then come back and then go check him out because it's 1 30 now and uh they don't like you checking kids out after two o'clock but fortunately I found almost half a jug of uh, tranny fluid hiding in the shed there no telling how long it's been there so we might be able to make it after all. I guess we can fire it back up. I need to nut and bolt check a few things before we go. But uh, I guess we can fire it back up, check our fluids. I'm gonna go over a couple things. And then maybe we can make it to town. Just checking the bolts and stuff real quick. Yeah, I think she's leaking right there somewhere. <laughs> I guess that's seal. Keeping everything nice and lubricated under here though. What the hell? Damn water dripping. Oh hell. Like freeze plug or something. Oh man. That don't look good. Oh come on now. Don't tell me. Oh no. Oh man. It's cracked. Man. Yep. Dang block is cracked. Man. Damn it. I don't know how the hell that happened because I drain the water out of this thing every winter. That's one thing I make sure to do. Damn, man. That ain't crap. I've had a bunch of small block Chevys crack in that exact same spot. I had a... Uh, a long bed, like a 82 model long bed with a 305 in it that was cracked in that same exact spot. And I drove it like that for like two years. I didn't even put no JB weld or anything, silicone or nothing on it. I just drove the damn thing, kept water in it. All the torque converter bolts, good. Tighten up these exhausts, tighten up the header bolts. Uh, make sure my U joints are good, none of them's loose. I ain't been having to put no water in it, so I don't know when the hell it must have cracked. Or I guess it could have been cracked and just started leaking. I think we got everything tight. Daggum ground wire there. I need to put an end on it, but honestly, I ain't got time. With me trying to video some of this crap I ain't no, uh, ain't helping. I guess I'm gonna strap my battery down. Oh hell, I ain't even gotta. I forgot. Stole the freaking battery terminal off this thing for something. I don't even know what. 
I guess I can go by the parts store and get one. Need to clean the windshield off a little bit. Oh man. All right, I gotta quit recording so we can try to go in time. made it to the gas station. I don't know how we made it, but we made it. Damn, I forgot about all the pine straw in the back of this thing still. <laughs> Give me a bite of that ice cream, boy. You always, every time I get it. It's a tax, man. It's called a dad tax. The bottom. What? That's a small bite. Get some of your drink, too. Prime. Looks like we got a bad connection or something. Got her fired up, just had a loose battery. But as soon as I got back in the daggone truck, like three cops pulled up right beside me on each side and then one on the other pump down. One marked car and two unmarked cars. You see them? <laughs> I was like, holy crap, that's about right. But we good to go now. I'm gonna head down here and see if Hot Wheels is at work before we go wash her off. I ain't been able to get a hold of him on the phone. I guess his phone's off. I don't know. I ain't been able to get a hold of him in a couple weeks. So we're gonna run down here and AAA here and see if he's at work at the tire shop. Looks like they done shut her down for today. Damn. They must have closed up early today. That's weird. They are definitely shut down today. Okay then. Close her down early, I reckon. Oh, there he is down there. Hey. Almost didn't see him. There he is. Oh, you hiding out behind Triple A. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pull on down here. She got a major problem, though. What's that? We got a water leak. Uh-oh. It's not a freeze plug. Oh, hey. You know where a small block Chevy's crack at a lot? Five three. Yeah. Was it L thirty three? Yeah. It's got two forty threes on one side and seven ninety nines on the other. I bought it like that. 
Yeah, a lot of them come in uh, like them 05, I think 05 model trucks. I see it too. Yep. The only other way you get an aluminum one that I found is in the trailblazer. Well, you still ain't got your still ain't too intake too. side on, huh? Still ain't too. No injectors yet? No injectors yet. Yeah, we just out and about, figured to try to come find you That's real quick. Saying. Everybody's been wondering where you at. Well, I'm everywhere. I'm putting the move into one of these trailers up here, hopefully. I was going to flag you down another day when I seen you in my red truck. I had my mama with me, running her around. That weight transfers better, it do. Oh, yeah. Not Still this. got the power glide in it? No, I got turbo 350 in it. Red truck got the power glide? Yeah. You need to ride in that. It's got a flat. <laughs> Where's it at? Uh -huh. Over there where I'm staying at. It popped the time. I've been mean to it. That thing rolls smokies with a bed full of junk. It's still a 6 out, right? Yeah. 6-0, whatever. 6 out. I got a 6-2. Laying in the floor of my buddy's shop. I got to have two sleeves put in it. I'm going to be stroking. And I got all the 4 8 stuff. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I just got to find the right pistons. About, a, about an 8 or 9,000 RPM screamer. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> And I know that these lifters are the same as a small block Chevrolet lifter. I believe I can take a solid lift, retrofit lifters for a small block, for like the Vortec motors, and shove them down in here and get away with the plastic trays too. Just pull, pull them out, they got the little tile bar goes between them. Uh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to build me some kind of B stroker motor, just high RPM, screamer, you know. Well, that's it. That's what I want. I had a 327 that'd do it, but I floated it up. <laughs> floated it up. It had a Donovan 3030 camshaft in it. The old famous 3030 solid lift. Ooh, I liked it. It kicked the rod out of it. Broke the cam too. It sounds about the same. I did put better seats in it. I got lights in it finally on the inside. I've just been, I've been organizing and collecting. Mm -hmm. Go back and forth like that, real fast. There you go. There you go. Go back and forth. You just spray in one spot. You driving me crazy. <laughs> I'm about to gra grab it from you. I can't watch this much longer. There you go. There you go. That's a little better. There you go. challenge turning the green Put the trigger down <laughs> get a little bit closer to it Running out of time, so we gotta put Hot Wheels on it. Nice Hot Wheels, honey. Little man, a little too slow, and obviously I ain't moving around too fast. Yeah, like me calling you slow. Light 
Yeah, we didn't get a real good start. I was going to slow down and turn around right there, but the damn cop kind of popped out of nowhere. <laughs> you see all them guys out by the road? I'm sure they heard us. Yeah. Yeah. Want to go try it somewhere else? Corner. A little, little straight away. See how much gas you got. I got a little bit in jug back here. You got a bunch. I don't remember right now. I got to run over here and go go to Atmo. It's a bad thing. That's a fun little truck, but the turbo's choking it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying on camera there. You're probably being choked down. It ain't free flowing. That's all right, though. It's going to make boost. Oh, yeah, it'll be totally different when you got boost. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, get up with me. We'll try it again. Yeah, look at here. Aftermath. Well, that ain't even aftermath. It hydrolocked. What'd that come out of? This? Yeah. I don't know, right? If it wouldn't have done that, I'd have had it too before this. <laughs> it hydrolocked. Alright. Just holler at me. Seatbelt back on right. Can I do one? I might can. Yeah.
definitely looks a lot better cleaned up all the pollen off of it it's been a couple hours since we got home i had to charge my phone plus i figured that uh let this thing cool off a little bit we'll see how much water we lost but overall we had a pretty good little trip everything went good didn't have no problems well only problem we had was the battery cable a little loose there at the store that was our only problem it's right there we go Oh, well, we didn't lose that much. Maybe it sealed itself back up. Some rust or something might have got in the cracks. It looks dry under there now. Well, little spot there where it's been dripping. I guess the other spot over there is oil or transmission fluid. She's got a few leaks. Old girl needs some attention bad. <laughs> it ain't leaking that bad, though, I guess. Maybe it just leaks when it wants to. I don't know. This might, it may have been cracked for a while. Who knows? But at least we got her cleaned up. and <clears throat> We got to play with Hot Wheels a little bit. I wish we could have got another run in. I rewatched the footage a while ago and noticed I didn't uh, hit record in time. So we didn't even really get the start of the race. But maybe we can get some better runs in here soon. A couple good dig runs and rolls and all that good stuff. But old C10 did pretty good today overall, I would say. I was going to go ahead and end this one off, but I guess since there ain't been a video out in a few weeks, I'll go ahead and give y'all an update on what's been going on around here. Picked this thing up a couple weeks ago. It's like a 2000, 2001 Chevy 2500. It's very rusty, as you can see. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That's the main problem with the truck is it's just rusty as hell. It came from up north. But I picked this up a couple weeks ago, just part out. Got a pretty decent deal on it, so went ahead and grabbed it. It's got 6.0 in it, but it's uh, just the early model 6.0, the one with the cast iron heads. But it's got a nice little uh, gauge cluster in it. It all works. Truck runs and drives. <clears throat> it just runs a little rough. I think it's probably got some rust in the fuel system or something it's got the cast iron heads on it i'm pretty sure these model 60s if you do like a turbo 350 700r or whatever i don't think you need a spacer for the converter on these you can just bolt it right up i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i think that's how it is you correct me if i'm wrong but it, it also got some shorty headers on it I didn't even know these were on it until I went to look at the truck. I'm thinking about pulling them off and throwing them on my four-door over there just to help it sound a little better. I got to get started on tearing this thing apart here soon. Uh, I think my buddy's wanting a motor and then transmission, uh, transfer case, rear end, all that stuff's good. Everything works. It's just rusty as hell. I already know this one's going to be fun taking apart. Yeah, she's pretty, she's pretty rough. That's the frame. <laughs> yep. Not in the best of shape, but got a pretty good deal on it, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Plus, I'll get the headers and, you know, a few other little odd and end things for my truck, so figured I couldn't beat it. And then we got the old 94 here. Finally got it all running and figured out. And, should have a video up on it after this one and y'all gonna laugh at me and definitely call me an idiot when y'all realize what was wrong with it <laughs> this is my mama's truck a uh, fuel pump went out on her and then i was messing with it trying to get it started to make sure it was a fuel pump the damn starter went out but i got a new starter on it the other day now we just got to get fuel pump get the fuel pump put in it bed back on it and she'll be rolling again and then, we got a uh, blazer here. Finally got it back over here. Building a junk ass uh, cross member out of just scrap I had laying around. Just something to put in it for now so we can move the truck around. And then my buddy's off on a job, but when he gets back, he's going to get some square tubing, some uh, plate, and some drill bits and stuff because I don't have nothing like that. I don't have any drill bits or anything. 
so i kind of just cut up stuff i had here that already had holes in it and some square tubing i had and kind of just threw something together for now so we can at least move the thing around and then i'm gonna build a much nicer one once uh it gets me some tubing plate and some drill bits actually this here it reminds me i gotta make a list of all the stuff we need for it uh finally got a hold of my buddy that owns it and uh, he told me to get him a list for everything for that so we could finally try to get it fired up so i need to do that and then we move over here to the little nissan i've been working on the motor here we got our tore down and uh got the old cam and stuff out of it we working on that rig but we've had a little bit of everything going on around here i reckon we're moving along with stuff a little bit at a time I'm just one person so all right well our little c10 play day went pretty good i guess so uh, cops are hot today i went to town this morning and went south down the highway about 15 20 miles and daggone troopers were everywhere and then uh county cops was everywhere on the way back they've been hot today i guess they uh trying to make some money they got new vehicles so i guess they're trying to pay for them i guess i don't know but they've been everywhere but overall our c10 play day went pretty good it was supposed to just be going to get my son from school and going to the car wash but running the hot wheels and done that little run with him maybe we can get up with him next day or so and get some better runs in i rewatched the footage of our race and realized i wasn't even videoing when we first took off but i kind of gave him the hit and then i smashed on it and as you see in the footage there i just kind of come on around him but him having that turbo and stuff on there without it all hooked up and working is uh probably holding him back a pretty good bit i'd imagine once he gets all that hooked up obviously he'll be leaving me like crazy but anyway we're gonna shut this one down right here i gotta move some vehicles and stuff around i'm gonna try to start tearing into that 2500 over there get the motor and trans and stuff out of it but uh yeah y'all just let me know what y'all think about it and we'll see y'all in the next one later well next evening decided to come check it and still slap full so i guess it just leaks when it wants to